Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you a few beginner prep items that you can get if you just started to prep or if you're on a budget. All of the items that I'm going to go over with you today are items that are prepping on the cheap, meaning that they'll get the job done, but they won't deplete your funds. And all of the items that I'm going to share with you today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to necessarily review. I'm going to show you what they look like, show you pretty much basically what they work and what they're intended for. And I will review these couple of items later on down the road. But the point of this video is to get those of you that maybe are not prepared or that think that you can't afford to just be basically prepared to get you on track with having the things that you need immediately after any kind of a crisis. And all of these things you can fit in a small bag or in a five gallon bucket. Let's go ahead and take a look at each one at a time and I'll explain to you why it is that I think you should have these in your preps, especially if you're a beginning prepper. You need a way to start a fire. And even if you have one of those gas ranges like I do that does the little click, click, click in the beginning, if we lose grid power, you're not gonna be able to start that range even if it works on gas, unless you have some matches or a lighter. I'll go ahead and pick whichever one you like. I prefer getting these Yuko matches, which are a little bit on the pricier side, but let me tell you why I prefer getting these. Not only are they a lot longer compared to your regular cheaper matches, nothing wrong with these by the way, but not only are these a lot longer, but they will withstand humidity in the air and they will last for years without you having to put them in any special packaging. If you're going to store these away for a long time, I would recommend that you vacuum seal them and make sure that you safely store them so that the package won't puncture and allow air in there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you all know that we can go crazy with fire making materials, but remember, this is the basics. Go ahead and leave in the comments what you personally use. Maybe someone will find it useful and look at something that maybe they don't have currently. And ladies and gentlemen, you all know that I like my flashlights, but I've settled on hybrid lights because they're such high quality lights and they keep a charge for so long. These lights right here, if you charge them to 100%, Put them away, they'll keep their charge for up to seven years without losing 1% point of the energy that you stored in them. To me, that's quality. Another thing that I like about these is they come in different colors. Obviously, this one right here is orange, easy to find, so it's not something that you're going to use in order to try to stay concealed. But you'll find it easy in case you drop it somewhere. Another thing that I like is that you can charge it two different ways. You've got your little solar panel here and right here via mini usb and you can also charge something with it in an emergency like a phone or something like that and for something that's as important as having light when you need it i like that you can rely on this one there's nothing fancy about these guys they're just rugged and they'll pretty much last forever but a flashlight ladies and gentlemen if you want to get something like this that's it's not really a prepping on the cheap item but when you compare it to other high quality flashlights I consider it to be so. I think these go for the range of like 50, 60 bucks. But if you take out other flashlights that are just as good, in my opinion, as these, they're a lot more than that. But in all honesty, if all you can afford is $10 for a flashlight, you can probably get something like this. That's not bad at all. This right here is a 90 lumen flashlight. Take a look at this. Not too bad for a little mini flashlight. And one of the things that I like about this is that it takes a triple A battery. So you don't have to worry about recharging it if you don't want to do that and just have batteries set aside. So this right here will work as well. And what I think that some people don't understand about flashlights is that when there is no light at all, a little bit of light is a lot of light. So something as small as this or something like this is going to do the job if you have no light available. You don't have to have a mass casualty kit. I believe just from personal experience that most injuries that people will get during any kind of a crisis is gonna be scratches. You're gonna to need to put a Band-Aid on it. You're gonna to need to disinfect it. You're gonna to need to pull out a piece of nail that maybe you crushed your finger or something with. You understand, ladies and gentlemen? So what I'm saying is, is that 
you can get the first aid that you want but me personally if i was on a budget i would get a small kit like this that you can get at costco that comes with disinfectant and comes with triple antibiotic ointment it comes with band-aids it comes with a few gauze pads it comes with medical tape etc and this right here is going to serve you i would say a lot more often than any mass casualty kit that you can get am i saying not to get a mass casualty kit well ladies and gentlemen what i'm saying is is that if you're on a budget i rather have this than to not have anything at all well ladies and gentlemen we need to have a way to at least at the very minimum heat up water so i have a couple of options for you here that both come in at a pretty good price i have a little camping stove here which is dual fuel It'll run on propane and it will also run on isopropyl butane. And I have a little camping kit here that brings a whole bunch of stuff in it. First, let's take a look at the stove that comes in at just under 22 bucks. And then we'll take a look at this camping kit, which comes in, I think it's about 35 or $40 for this camping kit. I remember when I bought this a couple of years ago, it was in the low $20 range and now it's almost twice as much, but it does bring a lot of stuff in it. So let's go ahead and see what this stove has to offer first. And look at that. That's really nice. It comes with both adapters. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, 22 bucks for this stove. I think it's on a temporary sale, but even at $25 regular price, so far, I like what I see. It has an adapter for propane, and it also has an adapter for the stoves that have butane that come in the can. I think that's pretty cool. And let's see what the stove looks like. By the way, this stove is, I believe, a little over 10,000 BTU, which will do the job. And I do like that it has a pretty long hose. And as you can see, it comes set up to connect to an isopropyl butane canister or cylinder with the two adapters for propane and butane. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain to you real quick that this adapter alone is about five or six bucks. So if you go five or six bucks times two, just in the two adapters that they included with this stove, you got about half the price of what you're paying for the stove itself. It has a piezo lighter, which is always a plus, so you don't need to waste your matches every time that you start this up. It looks like it's made out of stainless steel. The burner looks like it's pretty decent quality, to tell you the truth. And it's very, very sturdy, which tells me that you should be able to cook a pot of pasta on this and not worry about the 10 or 15 pounds that it's going to weigh on top of this. So I will be reviewing this stove later on to see how it actually works. And I'll do my garden variety test on it, which is cooking rice in addition to boiling water to see how fast it does it. Again, this is a 10,000 plus BTU burner that it comes with. Now let's talk about our little camping kit here, which again, I purchased this almost two years ago, if not a little over two years ago, for I think it was about 22, 23 bucks or so. And great price, at least at that time. Uh, now these things are going for almost twice as much. But, ladies and gentlemen, you do get a lot for what you pay for. Let's take it out of the bag. Of course, it comes with a little mesh bag that you can keep everything together in. And when you take it out, make sure that you don't dump everything on the floor by mistake. Let's put that to the side. It does come with a little silverware set which I actually think it's pretty neat that it comes with this, but it's got a little knife. And these are all pretty cheapos, but it's nice that it has it. It's got a spoon, obviously, in the same form, and it has a fork. So, so far, so good for what you're paying. It has a cup or a cover. If you want to cook rice, you'll use this to cover this. It comes with its own little camping stove, and we will take it out of the case here in a minute to show you what it looks like. This is kind of cute. <laughs> it comes with three little bowls. I can think of these being like rice bowls. It comes with a little spatula, a little bamboo spatula. It comes with a little scrubber so that you can clean your stuff out in the wild. And this is cool too. It comes with a little ladle that you can use to ladle out soup. Like if you were going to make food in here enough to, let's see, there's three bowls and one ladle. So I guess you can make enough soup in here to feed three people like a half a cup of food. 
Uh, and then of course it comes with this little pot right here, uh, which on the inside is graduated all the way up from 200 milliliters to 800 milliliters. And it also has it in ounces, which I like, uh, all the way from 12 ounces to 24 ounces. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not. And when I review this stove right here, I'll go ahead and use this kit to cook some rice in. That way you know that, hey, you can actually use this and it will actually do a good job to cook rice. What I think this is the best at is for heating up water. Why? Because ladies and gentlemen, this is not very thick. And the thinner wall that this has, the faster that the heat will penetrate to get that water hot, meaning that you'll use less fuel. And now to show you the stove that it comes with, this is probably the same stove that I've seen a thousand times. But guess what? Even though this here is about a six to a ten dollar stove, this is still enough to do the job. It's a very simple garden variety camping stove. These are not the sturdiest of stoves, so I wouldn't trust a lot of weight on this. But in order to go ahead and heat up some water, or to make a pot of rice, you should be just fine with this little guy. So this all together, right here, everything that you've seen right here, I will leave links for all of this. That way you can go check it out if you want to. That way you can get right to it instead of having to look for it. Uh, but this right here, right now, I think on Amazon is selling for, I think it's close to 40 bucks. I think it's like 35 to $40 or something like that, which may seem a little bit pricey, but not too bad when you have everything you need in order to cook and in order to boil water for safety reasons. I was looking at the comments for the review video that I did on the reverse osmosis filtration system from Simpure. And a few comments, like always, and that's why I do these prepping on the cheap videos, said something like, I just can't afford that. And that's very understandable. So I started to look for something that was really good in the water filtration realm, but that is as inexpensive as possible. And I came across this. I got on Simpure's site. And I was like, what's one of their cheapest things? And for what it can do and what they're charging for it, I think this is the best bang for your buck for someone that's prepping on the cheap. This water filtration system works on gravity and you're able to put up to six liters of water in the pouch that it brings. And not only that, the little filter that you attach to this does a great job. It's rated for about 1,250 gallons or so, and it's able to filter your water down to like 0.1 micron, which is outstanding. Again, I'm not going to go ahead and review this today, but this is definitely on my list of things to review. I'll probably end up reviewing this and the stove on the same video so that we can use some dirty water to filter through here so that we can cook our rice on the stove. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what comes in the box. This right here, this little bag with everything in it. And it also does have an owner's manual or an user's manual. And you want to make sure you read this. Uh, one of the reasons is, is it teaches you how to back flush the system, which is something that we'll go ahead and do when I actually review this. But also, you have to remember that if you live in an area where it gets really cold, you definitely do not want to allow this filter to freeze because it will ruin the filter inside of the cartridge. Let's go ahead and open this up. So as you can see here is our filter and it kind of like looks like a life straw, but you can see that the water, it even has a little arrow telling you, hey, the water comes in through here and it goes through there. And you're gonna be able to hang this bag up with six liters of water that needs to be filtered and it's going to gravity feed down through a tube. This is a nice big bag. Let's see, six liters is about, I don't know, one and a half or so gallons. I think a gallon of water is 3.785 liters. So, oh, wait a minute, here we go, look at this. Yeah, six, six liters is just a little over one and a half gallons of water. Okay, for those of you that don't know, one gallon of water is like 3.785 liters or so. So you're able to put enough water in here in one trip to last one person all the water that you would need for one day. And down here, as you can see, we have a connector that you put the tube on. It comes with a stopper where you can stop the flow if you like, like this. It'll stop the flow of water or slow it down. 
and for like 30 something dollars, you can't beat this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I hope that you all got something out of this. I know that some of you are going to ask me questions about who did the drawings or the paintings, really, and that is the handiwork of my wife. And let me show you this really cool thing that one of our community members gifted me years ago. So I figured that since it was in the corner, someone's going to ask me, hey, what was that in the corner? So I'd show you. And this is a tortilla press. This is something that was gifted to me a long time ago. And my daughter was using it here not too long ago to make some tortillas for some tacos. The way that it works is that you lift the handle. Then you have to lift this out of the way. You put your masa in there. Bring this back down. And then you squeeze it down. And every time it makes the perfect tortilla. Well, I hope that you got something out of this, especially those of you that are starting on your preparedness journey. Get prepared, ladies and gentlemen, because in my humble opinion, you will need your preps probably sooner than later. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day. God bless every one of you. Thank you very much for your support, ladies and gentlemen, by the way. And if you're still here, you are awesome. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.